What's up guys, God of War Geek here. This is sort of my part 2 of the video where I talked about things other channels may have missed. I just wanted to take some time and talk about the portraits that were released shortly after the trailer, starting with Atreus. He has obviously grown a lot and he is heavily honouring his mother by wearing yellow clothing, and still wearing the yellow scarf his mother gave him, as well as keeping true to himself by keeping the grey fur around his shoulders as he did in the last game, and continues to honour his father by wearing the Spartan sash. But the obvious thing to notice is Atreus now has a bunch more scars on his face, showing he has been in many battles with various enemies during Fimble Winter. Then we come to potentially Atreus' future lover, Anger Boda. If there is a secret here, then I don't see it. But she's clearly in Jotunheim with the fingers in the distance, and it seems to be more full of life. Sadly, the same can't be said for the giants. But I think what we are seeing in the background is due to the reaction Fimble Winter causes each realm. Next we have Thor. This is new to us all, so technically everything here is new, but his design, from what I can tell, gives pretty much nothing away. The two things I find most interesting is that he has a scar in a similar place like Kratos, and one just under his other eye. He also has what looks to be a ring on his necklace. I'm not sure what type, but my first thought is maybe a wedding ring. So I wonder if this could be either to do with his wife Sif, or maybe it was his mother Fjorgun's ring. The only thing he has of her kind of thing. Assuming it wasn't him who killed her, that is. He has a few noticeable tattoos, but he also has what I think is a bind rune. I can't say I fully know what it means. I could even be wrong, but I think this bind rune contains various runes, such as strength, defense, endurance, and a couple more. Next up on my list is Kratos. I'm just going to state the obvious and say Kratos looks even more jacked than he did last time, which I'm glad to see, especially with the threats that are to come. We have a snake symbol on his chest plate, he is wearing near full body armour, his entire right side is now covered and nearly all his left side. This will no doubt be his way of combating the cold. He also has a new plate on his left forearm, where his shield normally is. I wonder if Brock and Sindri fashioned this for him to give him more freedom with the shield, which is why we can see him detach it and use it as a weapon sometimes. And next we have Brock. It looks like he may be beginning to listen to his brother Sindri's advice about the little beasties by wearing at least one glove. It's not completely there, but I'm sure Sindri would see that as an improvement. The glove also has their brand imprinted on it. Sindri is also rocking some nicer gloves, but other than a small few changes to both their armour, etc., their design is pretty similar to the last game. Next up we have Durlin. I have talked a decent amount about him already in a previous video. The only things I would like to add is I think the scar on his head is from the Drekki, just a prediction. And also that his little female friend called Dinner is exposing a key rat that's around his neck. So either this key is to the fish tank like box he keeps Dinner in, or a chest, or a hidden door, whatever it is. A key around the neck is usually something you want to keep a secret. For your eyes only. So next we come to Tia. I want to say his design is a surprise to me, but it's really not. I predicted a long time ago the colour clothing he would wear would match slightly to his temple, and I had a feeling he'd have long hair and a beard. I thought he'd be a little shorter though. Just having a bit of fun, but I wonder if they based his design a little on Bear McCreary. He has a slightly interesting tattoo on his forehead and some coins from other lands near his belt, but there are two standout details to notice. The first is Tia is holding onto his left arm, which could be a hint as to what is to come. I think the more popular idea is that it's his right arm that is to be devoured, but from what I have read, it simply states one of his hands is to be taken by Fenrir, and with the Egyptian hieroglyphics on his left arm, it may be that he's very fond of them, and maybe Egypt as a whole, making its potential sacrifice all the more meaningful to Tyr. The second interesting detail is Tyr's eyes. To me, they look nothing like what they do in the trailer, or as extra proof, they look nothing like Mimir's. If you look closely enough, it actually looks like he has a pupil. I have many thoughts as to what it could mean, but I'm just not sure if I believe any of them. I mean, Odin disguised as Tia, for example. God, I hope not. Next up is the Witch of the Woods herself, Freya. It really pains me to see her like this, but this is what we are going to face. But if you look at her skin, I'm not even joking. She looks like she hasn't washed a single time from when she left us carrying Boulder. The makeup around her eyes, where it ran down her face, it looks more or less the same too like she's keeping herself the way she was as a reminder as to what happened. She does have a beautiful sword though, it looks very impressive. I have no idea what this glow inside it is, if it's a room powering it up, but it does give off the impression it's been dipped in the light of Alfheim. 
So if that is the case, could this be a hint toward her now being able to go to any realm she pleases? I'm still not sure if I believe that, but it is possible of course. Last up we have Mimir. Not a lot to say when all that's left of him is just his head, but he is rocking some new bling in his beard, as well as he has some interesting new tattoos. This snake-like one around his ear onto his cheek, and the two that are now around his horns. I've looked at the trailer as closely as I could, and from my point of view, he didn't have the snake-like tattoo when in Svartalfheim, and to prove that, here is probably the best close-up picture I could get of Vermeer. This means he is likely to get these tattoos at some point in the game. And to finish, we come to the poster. There are a number of things to point out here. We have three fires, one under the tear statue's helmet, and two others by the Helheim Tower. If I was to guess at what this means, then this could be something relating to Angerboda and Hell. I could be wrong, but I've long held the opinion that Angerboda has been watching us the whole time, and at least one of these fires could mean that the Lake of Nine is where we meet her for the first time. As we can see, there are three realm towers, Muspelheim, Svartalfheim, and Helheim. Nivelheim and Asgard are obviously out of shot, so I wonder if this is their way of saying these three realms are going to be important going forward. We obviously still have Serta and Hel to meet, as well as finding Tyr in Svartalfheim, but as that was shown in the trailer, I wonder if another big event happens there. The Muspelheim Tower and Broken Thor statue seem way higher than normal, and the Svartalfheim Tower seems to be pushed forward like it's going to fall if not for all that snow. So with the ice breaking, this may mean we can only link the bridge to certain towers. I also just want to take a moment to talk about these three birds. I'm guessing that two of these may be those ravens we saw within the trailer, and the big white one could be Jophie, which could be another hint to Angerboda, which I will explain in another video. But saving the best detail for last, Atreus is wearing the mistletoe arrow tip that broke Baldur's curse. So does this mean he managed to find it on another trip to Njordholm, or could it mean that he was given it by someone? But again, this is something most likely deeper into the game. But that's all I have for this one guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, share and click the bell to be notified for every time I post. Thank you so much for watching, take care of yourselves and I hope to see you in the next one.